Crystal Therapeutic is a pharmaceutical company. We're developing innovative nanomedicines, and that means that we're trying to improve the efficacy and safety profile of new and existing drug molecules. Uh, we do that via making nanoparticles, and those nanoparticles will have a higher accumulation in tumor tissue and other diseased areas. Generally, if a patient has cancer, he or she will be treated by a so-called chemotherapeutic agent. And that means uh, an agent that is predominantly infused by the bloodstream and accordingly has a distribution all across the body. What we do is we take the same chemotherapeutic agent, but we entrap it within our nanoparticles. The nanoparticles will accumulate to a larger extent in tumor tissue and to a lesser extent in healthy tissue, so shifting nearby the efficacy to safety ratio. So the lead compound that we are developing, crappy docetaxel, uh, docetaxel is a compound that is already currently used in the clinical setting for bigger cancer indications such as prostate uh, and breast cancer. But we are already testing crappy docetaxel in patients, a so-called phase one study, and actually we are currently expanding that phase one study uh, in a so-called 1B study. Um, small number of patients to test the optimal dose and dose regimen, so how frequently are we giving it. Hereafter it will be followed by a bigger number of patients in a specific cancer type, uh, so-called phase two. This will be followed by a bigger phase uh, three study in which a large number of patients will be evaluated, really demonstrated added value as compared to the current standard of care. Uh, and as you can imagine, uh, if you say a bigger number of patients, that's really costly. So we aim to outlicense the product Crapidose Excel to an external pharmaceutical company after phase two. So as you can imagine, the development of these type of innovative nanomedicine is costly uh, and high risk. Uh, and it's really important to have investors on board, uh, such as Leof. They really support us on the corporate level, on the, on the research level. And I think it's, it's really key that uh, everybody has a really proactive approach to support the development of the company and that the, the high risk can, on the long run, be uh, turned into products with a clear commercial added value. We're one of the um, pharmaceutical companies in this region, so we bring knowledge here. Uh, we have a lot of interaction with the knowledge institutes, such as uh, the hospital um, over here, but also the university in Aachen. Uh, we have good interaction with the uh, Flanders uh, region. Uh, so I think we're really boosting and bringing contacts in between the different parties that are involved, bringing science to actual products. As I started in 2003, uh, we're now 2017, I think uh, there is one main lesson is to be perseverant. Um, namely, we've had clearly also some hiccups and some pitfalls, but if you stick to the plan uh, and keep on believing and building on the story, then uh, I think everything is feasible. Benieuwd of we ook iets voor u kunnen betekenen? 